Hello everyone, welcome Charged Friends. If you've ever wondered how to get the Moog Voyager audio input to function correctly, if you're new to it like me, you discover A, you get no output, B, you get distorted output, not in a good way, or C, you get intelligible output, but um, there's kind of a droney oscillator in the background. So here, let's take a look at this. I'm going to turn the lights on on this thing so you can see just for a second. It's kind of whiny, but maybe that'll help. But we look at this first LFO thing. That's what's making it strobe, kind of. Kind of like a ring modulator. And here at the modulation bus, this is on oscillator 3. I don't know. Oh, this destination is filter. This, this one doesn't seem to do much right now. This is on the triangle, so that's what's making it up and down rather than switch back and forth. This destination is on filter. Um, filter envelope for shaping. And this amount... That's what the guitar sounds like by itself. It's just a mono guitar. The audio input on this is mono. It's not a stereo thing at all. So this is just a mono guitar. That's the effect. And these oscillators, the noise is off. Three, two, one. All these oscillators are off. The low frequency is what's doing that. The wah, 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 wah. Here's the external thing. That has to be on. So all these are off except for this mixer panel. The, and then you get a level in here. And then the filters, you... And this one is cool. The spacing is what does it. This doesn't seem to do much. The um, filter amount and the tacticate, I don't know what that is, but if it's, you just kind of put them where they are right now, they'll be okay. But this main one at the bottom, the amount filter. Oh, and that's the important one right here, the envelope gate. That's what's in, it says external EXT. That's this thing right here. When you're on the headphone. And then the master volume, of course, that just sends it all out. These all stay down. That's basically it. And you can fool with this to your heart's content. Again, that's what it sounds like by itself, the guitar, the mono guitar. Now let's try and change it over. It sounds like we're recording again. Okay, here's what it sounds like with a drum kit. Not my, this is the Tempest. This is kind of a beat that came with the machine when I bought it.
That's kind of more or less what it sounds like by itself. There we go. That spacing thing just rocks it. And so on. Well, I hope that makes some kind of sense. Um, there's a plenty to experiment with here. Plenty that um, it's pretty cool. It's one of the better features of this machine. I think it's kind of I don't hear it talked about much, and I've just had a blast with it. Anyway, um, keep up the good work, everybody. Bye.